and Dr. Chinmay, consultant, gynecologist, and infertility specialist at Garbagudi IVF Center, South End Circle. Today, I am talking about reducing fertility rates in India. So, in the last few years in our practice, we've seen that a lot of women are presenting with us, presenting to us with reduced uh, with infertility, where the population of infertility has increased drastically, especially in the last few decades. And uh, we are seeing, uh, especially uh, women coming with uh, reduced ovarian reserve, meaning the age of the ovary is aging at a faster rate. So they are coming with a reduced ovarian reserve at a very young age. Their ovary is aging at a faster rate compared to their normal chronological age. So there are various factors why we are seeing an increase in infertility population these days. And to add on to this, which is an eye-opener, uh, which we need to know, there is a survey which is conducted by uh, the Government of India, which is called the National Health Survey. According to this being done every 10 years, according to this survey in 2006, the fertility rate in India was 2.5 to 2.5 and in 2016 now it has dropped to 2.1 and the latest one which we have the 2019 to 2021 survey which says the average fertility rate in Indian population is only 2. So when I say the fertility rate it means the chance of woman bearing the child in her entire reproductive age this has been drastically reducing over many years. If you see the backward data of 1950, the fertility rate in India was around uh, uh, 6. And today we are seeing a fertility rate of 2. And especially in urban population like metro or cosmopolitan cities like Bangalore, uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, the fertility rate is much lesser, which is only 1.5. And of course, in certain states of India, like uh, we see uh, in case of uh, uh, the eastern part of India, the eastern states and uh, Goa or certain union territories, they have even much lesser of less than 1.5. But when we compare uh, our uh, urban population versus the rural population, they have a better fertility compared to the urban cities, where it is around 2. So, therefore, uh, it is something which is more alarming for all of us to know that the fertility rate, especially in urban population, is dropping down drastically. So, if you see what could be the possible reasons, why it is happening, if, uh, the various and uh, array of reasons that we need to know. One is because of increased uh, education, being more career orientation. So, there is delay in age of marriage. If you see back then, people used to get married at a younger age group, plan pregnancy earlier. So, the problems were not being... Uh, showed at a, uh, at a younger age group. Now that there is delay in the marriage age itself. So what happens when there is delay in the marriage age? The woman when she starts planning her pregnancy itself will be in, early, in her uh, early 30s or in late 20s. So what happens in Indian women, the aging of the ovary is much faster compared to the western population. So in uh, our, uh, the, especially the Asian population, the ovaries age 6 years faster when compared to the western. So we need to be more cautious. So because of this increased uh, uh, age of marriage, use of more increase in contraceptive usage, then there is increase in changes in the lifestyle which we may mainly see in the urban area. That is why the uh, fertility rate is less where uh, there is a uh, more of sedentary lifestyle because of which there is increase in obesity and uh, obesity related issues definitely it can lead to other uh, problems like development of diabetes, hypertension which in turn has a significant effect on the reproductive health. This can uh, push them into infertility. Similarly, uh, the kind of environment they are exposed to. So the various studies which have shown especially the hormones which can which are very important or vital to maintain one's reproductive health so these are there in everyday products that we use like maybe our flow cleaners presents in case of industrial solvents certain pesticides bpas which are present in cosmetics so knowing or unknowingly they're all getting into the body and it is gradually reducing the reproductive health and the fertility potential of an individual so one needs to be very careful and know all these things and also added to that the increased stress in their work uh, day-to-day -day work, changes in their uh, lifestyle, increased uh, smokings, uh, even the, the, uh, the, if you look at the number of uh, smokers, it has increased in India. So smoking, increased alcohol consumption, all these things put together will ha is definitely proven to affect the reproductive health. One, as such, the race, the Indian ethnicity or the Indian race is prone for early reproductive aging. So therefore, our pregnancy might be dropping, our pregnant fertility rate is dropping. 
second thing is because of increase to all these stress uh, chemicals environmental the endocrine disruptors uh, change in lifestyle pushing the pregnancy later on like the late age of marriage all these things has brought about lot of changes in the reproductive health so one is we need to be aware of what we are going through and what we are planning second thing is how do we overcome this how do we know that are we uh, ready for when we are ready for pregnancy can uh, are we the right uh, when is the right time to plan so whenever a couple gets married it is always better to take a consultation know what is a woman's uh, reproductive potential whether she has any added uh, problems second thing in case of males if there is any abnormality say this reduction in sperm count or uh, reduction in the sperm motility all this can be treated and she bringing about certain changes in their lifestyles and uh, uh, taking a uh, uh, regular uh, reducing the stress during their work the indulging in uh, uh, de-stressing activities like sports yoga all these things and most importantly being aware of what is happening to our own body so all these things will help us to know what is the issue and when we can plan and have the maximum pregnancy potential so especially in women who are uh, want to postpone their pregnancy want to plan their pregnancy later we have something called social freezing these days where in their uh, when they get married or even before which she wants to get married in their late early 30s or in mid 30s she can always come and consult an infertility specialist where she will uh, undergo a scan will do a certain test and tell her what is her ovarian age what is the potential of her ovary to produce good eggs in her next future few years so based in case it is aging early or she wants to postpone her marriage for a long time we can freeze her eggs keep it and then whenever she is ready for it she can plan pregnancy without any hassle so there are definitely various options available one we need to be aware that there is a decreasing trend in fertility in india especially especially the asian and indian population compared to the western population and of course the only way prevention is better than cure so we better identify where is the problem when is the problem try to correct it uh, uh, try to get the best solution out of it before the problem goes out of hand so i uh, it, so one has to get themselves evaluated uh, uh, when uh, they get married or they want to postpone or for various reasons and know which is the right time to plan for pregnancy by this they can have the uh, maximum pregnancy potential without going through all the infertility stress uh, thank you i hope uh, you've got a lot of information from this and what we're facing today and if you've liked this uh, you can like this page and uh, share it and subscribe to our channel to know more information about infertility thank you